So this is just a demo of the project that you're going to do. I'm using black paper, but you're going to have a much better option. You're going to have brown paper, so the paint should show up a lot better. And I'll do it in stages. Stage one, you just divide your page up into sections with a pencil. It can be a regular pencil. And so just draw outlines. So your page is not all one piece. There's lots of sections. I'm going to... Put sections in like this. You can do whatever you want, by the way. And I'll show you some examples so you get some ideas. I just thought it'd be cool to have four sections on each corner. And my dreaming is going to be a turtle. So I'm drawing my turtle nice and big in the middle, not too small. I want it to be in the middle because this is a dreaming and this is the most important part of the picture. So there's my turtle's head and there's my turtle's little tail. And, you know, I could have flippers coming out like this. You're, you know, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Now I've got an outline. That's stage one. Stage two, use the Q-tips and start filling in the sections, the different sections with the dots. And this should be a lot of fun, um, but it does take a long time. And that's why you have a little piece of paper. And you can put outlines around things. I'm, I'm actually going to put little white dotted outline around each section. And then I'm going to fill each section with dots in a different color. That's what I'm going to do. And again, you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you like. Evenly space out the dots. And what I want to stress here is that even though you're filling the sections with dots, you're just not going crazy and just filling them just with random dots all over the place. Aboriginal dot paintings are very organized, so the dots always go in the same direction. So you do stripes of dots, or you do spirals of dots. There's lots of spiral patterns. They loved patterns, so, well, you know, you don't want to just randomly fill sections in. Do another outline here. And think about how you can make each section pop out against each other. So, you know, think about how you can use color to make sections pop out against each other. You don't have to do the same thing for each section. And maybe even leaving some of the sections empty. So I'm going to fill all four corners with dots. And I'm going to fill the turtle with dots. So I'm not going to fill the background with anything at all. Because I, I want the turtle to stand out. And if there's lots of dots in the background, the turtle will not stand out. Um... You're only going to get four colors, I think. So that should be, you know, it'd be easy for you to make decisions about colors. If you look here, I'm going to fill this section with little circles or spirals, I guess. I'm going to put them together. It's really the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you like. And have fun with it. I'm not going to do this whole piece. I'm going to show you a couple of pieces that my kids did just so that you can be inspired and get some ideas or not get some ideas and decide to do something completely different. So here are two different ideas. This is one my daughter did and it's I don't think it's finished but it's a snake dreaming. Can you see the snake is coiled around in the middle? The snake dreaming. Um, you can have a snake going across if you like, but she decided to have it coiled around and she's done um, stripes of colour inside. And if you can see, she's divided up her section so that there's a, like a wavy section at the bottom and a wavy section at the top. And then she's filled each section with stripes. She's, she's chosen a pattern and filled it in. And maybe she wants to leave this completely black. I quite like it empty. And she has little spiral patterns in here. This is my son's and he is in first grade and I helped him a bit because he was struggling with the um, the little q-tips and so what he did was he didn't want to fill everything with spots it was too tough for him so he used um, his q-tip and drew spirals and by the way that is completely okay if you look at dot paintings even though they're called dot paintings they're not just full of dots you can use them the q-tips to make stripes you can use them to make spirals. You can use them to make any kinds of lines you like. If it's getting too much and you don't have enough time and you want to fill your space in, um, you can just do whatever you like, okay? And this is a thunderbolt dreaming. Again, it doesn't have to be an animal. And one of the nice things is if you don't feel like drawing anything at all and maybe your dreaming is something like water, maybe you can just fill your entire page with just waves. 
you can fill your entire page with a pattern and that's absolutely fine too, okay? There really aren't that many rules. Just, you know, draw things out with a pencil first and then space your dots out as carefully as you can and don't, you know, get it too chaotic. That's it.